If there were a Mount Rushmore for our city, Lila Cockrell would be on it. She was a great San Antonian. That quote from Mayor Ron Nuremberg. Today, the city mourning the loss of a longtime former mayor, Lila Cockrell, who has passed away. Firstly, we want to apologize for a mistake on our behalf. Earlier this morning, when we reported the news of Cockrell's death, we aired video showing Edith McAllister, who died last year. Lila Cockrell and Edith McAllister, both very important fixtures here in San Antonio. And Cockrell broke barriers and opened doors for other local female politicians. Since the news broke, other movers and shakers throughout San Antonio have been pouring in their condolences. Devin Clark live outside Commissioner's Court, where he just spoke to Judge Nelson Wolf about the impact Cockrell had. Well, David and Tiffany, after speaking with Wolf and others, it's clear that Cockrell will not only be missed for her pioneering as the first woman to become mayor of San Antonio, but also the passion and the love that she had for the Alamo City. Now, after being appointed as the first female mayor pro tem in 1969 and then becoming the elected mayor from 1975 to 1981 and then again from 1989 to 1991, she graduated from SMU in Dallas and then started her political career sitting on the city council from 1963 to 1975. That's before the city was even divided into districts. But it wasn't only her political fortitude that gave Cockrell notoriety. After retiring, she continued to serve the public. She was president of the San Antonio Parks Foundation from 1998 until retiring in 2013. Today, the Lyle Cockrell Theater on San Antonio Riverwalk is named in her honor. Judge Wolf today saying that the ongoing impact she had on the city warranted all of the praise. And what she did uh, was incredible in terms of the civility, in terms of bringing minority groups together with the Anglo population, uh, really setting a standard of how a mayor ought to act. And Cockrell was a mother of two daughters and a friend to many, including current Mayor Ron Nirenberg. They actually shared a great friendship. We plan to sit down with him in just a few moments and talk about their relationship as well as the impact that she had on the city from his eyes. We're going to have that in later newscasts. But for now, reporting live downtown, Devin Clark, KSAT 12 News. Devin mentioned Ron Nirenberg. Well, he has released a statement on her passing. We showed you part of it at the top of the show. He went on to say their friendship started with mutual interests like jazz music, the arts, and our environment. The statement that reads, Lila's generosity with her time, knowledge, and insight was incredibly helpful. She was a consummate statesman. She exuded class and never involved herself in the pettiness of politics, despite all of the years that she was in the center of political life in San Antonio.